everybody and welcome back to my channel. I did a Trader Joe's haul today. I've been trying to eat better since I ate like such crap during the holidays ever since like Thanksgiving. So I'm trying to do better. And they have lunch meats that are there without the artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives. So I got some of the turkey breast and roasted chicken. Both of these are very good. And it, it's ready to eat. It just has, doesn't have any of the chemicals. It's just roasted with olive oil, salt, and pepper for the chicken. And it doesn't say what it's cooked with for the turkey. But for the ingredients for turkey, it's turkey breast water, sea salt, black pepper, and sage. And these are really good. And I got some of the soft and juicy mango. I absolutely love mango and it's like this, so I always have to pick these up. And this is my favorite almond butter in the whole wide world. This is the Trader Joe's creamy almond butter. They have crunchy and creamy. And it was $2 off, but almond butter only lasts so long. This expires in July and I don't know, maybe I'll go back for more, but it doesn't have any added sugar and no salt. It's just dried roasted almonds and less than 1% of dry roasted cashews, and that's it. And I'm obsessed with Trader Joe's honey goat cheese, so I got some of this. This was the only like bad thing that I got, but it's so freaking good. You have to try this. If you get anything, get this in the almond butter. And I'm obsessed with nuts. Trader Joe's is a really good place to get nuts. And I love these, are the dry roasted unsalted Oregon hazelnuts. And you just have to be careful with these because of the calories, but these are so freaking good. Because it says a serving size, is, serving size is one ounce. And that's 180 calories. So it's not very many nuts, but these are so freaking good. Oh my God. And everyone's been talking about the cauliflower gnocchi. Nom Nom Paleo posted a video a while ago. Um, she like sauteed them on the stovetop and added different things to them. So I'm excited to try these and I got three of these. And I got some of their pork belly. This is basically, you just brown a crisp and serve. Let me see what the ingredients are. It just says pork belly, water, salt. And so this is good for Whole30 and paleo if you're doing that. I'm trying to eat as much paleo as I can in Whole30ish, but I still, cheese doesn't affect me, so I can still eat cheese. And I got some of their grass-fed beef sirloin roast. And this is the same thing. You can have this on Whole30 and paleo. This is beef sirloin, sea salt, black pepper. And that's it. And if you're not doing Whole30, some of my favorites, they have these soup dumplings that are really good. And in the freeze, freezer section, they have chocolate croissants. You just leave them out overnight and they expand and you throw them in the oven in the morning. So freaking good. That's what we had on Christmas morning. And I got a bunch of these. This is the Trader Joe's water. This huge thing I think was a dollar. I'll read all the prices of everything when I'm done. This is for 50.7 fluid ounces, and it says it's the alkaline water and electrolytes, purified water with electrolytes for taste. Alkaline water plus electrolytes is purified through reverse osmosis and then ionized to achieve the perfect balance. I don't know about you, but ever since I had this water, this is my favorite water. I just like the taste of it, especially when it's really, really cold. And yeah, I love this. And I'm almost out of my avocado oil from Costco. I'm just lazy and I haven't been over to Costco. Just for reference, this is the size you get at Costco, this bigger bottle. And this bigger bottle is 33.8 ounces. And the small one that you can get um, at Trader Joe's is 16.9 fluid ounces. And I make mayo every couple weeks, and I hate avocados, but you can't really taste avocado when you make 
I make a lot of tuna salad and dips and things like that and that's what I use to make it from scratch. I have a video, I'll put it down below if you're interested in making mayo from scratch. It takes me like less than a minute or two to make it. And I got some of their skipjack tuna. I tried some of the Aldi tuna this week so I needed some more tuna and their tuna is, I, got, I like the chunk light skipjack. It's in water with sea salt. These are five ounces each. And the ingredients is light, chunk light tuna water sea salt contains tuna, duh. And the, that's what it looks like right here. And I got a bunch of cat food. They have really good deals on cat food and you're getting the large 5.5 ounce. So this could feed two cats for me. And the tuna are really cheap. I think it's like 28 cents or something, but I got three tunas and I got one of each flavor for my kitties to try. Um, this one is ocean fish salmon and rice dinner. I got a chicken turkey and rice dinner and a turkey giblets dinner. And my cats really like their food. I just wish I lived closer to a Trader Joe's. And I got some of the Trader Joe's Organic Extra Virgin Spanish Olive Oil Spray. I've used this before. I love this stuff. And the last two things are, I love their pre-made soups. They're low in sugar and low in bad ingredients. It's no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors. I've tried this one before. It's really good. This carrot ginger one. And it's water, carrots, onions, potatoes, honey, organic cane sugar, rice flour, ginger root, canola oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, sea salt, um, spices, natural flavor. And they had a special with this new flavor. This is creamy corn and roasted red pepper. And I probably should have looked at the ingredients before I bought it, but it's water, sweet corn, potatoes, onions, honey, roasted poblano peppers, Cilantro, sea salt, expelled, pressed canola oil, and or safflower oil, and sunflower oil. And I will report back on these. And let's see, if I'll read when I paid for everything. The large waters were $1.49 a piece. The gnocchi was 30 ounce. For three gnocchis, I paid $8 for all three. The pork belly was $6.49. The roast was $6.99. The turkey breast was $7.99. The mangoes for both of them was $3.98. The hazelnuts are $6.99. The beef sirloin was $10.77. The honey goat cheese for five ounces was $2.99. The, I did get pineapple spears, but those are at work, and that was $3.49. It was pre-sliced. The tuna for both of them was $2.98. The turkey and giblets cat food, the, the, basically the tuna ones were, let's see, were $0.59, cents. It was $1.77 for three. I can't do the math on top of my head that quick. I'm not good at math. <laughs> But the other ones were 79 cents each. I got some of their vitamins D3 for work and that was 4.99 for D3 5000 and I believe it was 90 capsules for five bucks. My almond butter was 5.99. My carrot ginger soup was 2.99. My creamy corn soup was 2.99. My olive oil spray was 2.99 and the Avocado oil was $8.99, so that's a total of $102. I didn't get that much for $102, but it's mostly meat and good protein and stuff like that. So I will definitely report back on what was good and what wasn't in a later video. Thanks, and remember to subscribe. Bye.